those of you who don't know me, I'm Rebecca, and then this is Shay, the horse I've been training for the past year. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to teach your horse to step up to a mountain block. Okay, so let's get started. So what, what you need to do, I always do it in a round pin, but you can have just any fence, fence line. I like this fence, preferably. But you lead them and you put them right up against that fence. So you get on on the right side, so you want them to be stepping up from, so the right side is up against you. So you start off, and it's all about what, your timing when you release. So we're gonna put some pressure on her butt and we're just gonna say step up, 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 good, step up, step up, step up, step up, step up, step up, step up. So what I'm doing is I'm putting pressure on her butt, and what I want her to do is I want her to take a step towards me. So I have a line, an imaginary line, drawn about an inch away from her back foot. If she crosses that line, I'm going to release the pressure immediately. So that way she learns if she steps towards me, the pressure on her butt will be released. So I'm going to, I'm going to say step up, step up. She don't know it yet, and I step up, step up. Step up, step up, step up, good. Step up, step up, step up, step up, step up, good girl, good. Since she took a big step, I'm going to give her a bigger release and walk her out. Get her out of that uncomfortable situation. She's a more reactive horse than others. And so she was a little, that was a little hard for her. It was more pressure to her. And so a more reactive horse tends to learn faster with this trick because they want that pressure gone because it's, it's, it's building up like energy in them and they're getting anxious faster and stuff. A horse that's not very sensitive and doesn't really care, they'll just sit there and let you hit, hit on their butt and they don't, they don't care at all. Bring her back up on the fence in the same spot. And then we're just going to do it again. You always want to start out saying or giving the cue that you're going to use for this trick. So I always like put my hand in the air and say step up is the way I do it. Um, I hide the whip. I put it in between my two fingers and hide it behind my arm at first. And I say step up. Step up. Since she's not doing it, then I bring the whip over. Step up. Good. She already, she's already learning it really fast. Okay. Step up. This thing, huh? Step up. Good girl. Good girl. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Good. Good girl. What I'm doing up here is I always have them saddled when I teach them this trick because they'll be saddled when you try, most of the time, when you're trying to get them to step up to a mounting block. And then I take the reins, and if she tries to go forward, I stop her. If she tries to go backwards, I stop her. So this is stopping the forward-backward movement, and then the fence is stopping the movement from her going away from me. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up, step up, good. Step up, good girl, right there. Good, good girl, good. Yeah. Do another lap. Let her reset her mind real quick. Yeah. Gonna rub that spot too, so she's not all jumpy.
just gonna repeat that. Step up, step up, step up. Good, good girl, good girl. Step up, step up, step up. Good, there you go. Good girl. Good girl, see you? That's a good girl. Step up. I'm going to try to ask for a few more steps and she's got it down pretty good. So before I was just asking for one step and I'd release all pressure. Now I'm going to ask for like two or maybe three steps. And my goal is to get her to come all the way around and get right up in my space up against this fence. So now I'm going to ask her again. Step up. Step up. Step up. Good. And that time she did three really good steps for me. So I'm going to give her just a break. Pet her, tell her she's a good girl. Good. Yeah. Step up. Step up. Step up. Good. That last step can be the hardest for them to get them. You want to get them to where they're basically pushing you into the fence. So most horses, when you're training them, you're tra you train them not to get right up in your space and teach them kind of to have a bubble a little bit. Well, this is telling them to get in your space and like ignore the bubble. And a lot of horses will be uncomfortable with that at first. She didn't seem to have much of a problem with that. She came right in, right where I asked her to. But then again, she is a very, a more sensitive horse. And so that, the pressure and release, releasing that pressure is like a big relief for, for her. We're gonna do it one more time. Step up, step up, step up, step up, step up, good. You're such a good girl, yeah, you're such a good girl. So now, once you get up to where they can do it all at once and make that, that half a circle and just without you having to touch their butt one time, that's when I'm gonna move away from the fence. So when you move away from the fence, you're, you're not just gonna completely leave it, leave it. You're gonna come out about, can you just get back on? Mm -hmm. okay. You're gonna come, come out just a few feet, just to where, where they, have, they have the option to move if they want to, but it's still there in case you need it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask her again. I'm gonna ask her to do it again. Now, if she starts going away from me, I'm going to push her back up against that fence. Hang on, I'm So if she tries to move that way away from me, I'm going to drive her all the way back to that fence and make her come back towards me again. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up, step up, step up, good. She had no issue, I didn't have to drive her back to the fence. But if your horse, after you move away from the fence, if your horse isn't coming towards you and they start going away from you, then you just drive them back to that fence, push them up against the fence and start over again from the fence. So she's doing such a good job. I'll lead her around. Now I'm just, I'm going to leave her in here for like a minute, maybe two, give her a good break away from me, and just let her mind reset after that, because that's a lot to take in at once. And then in like two or three minutes, I'll come back in and we'll go on to the next step. I mean, oh, you're such a good girl. Good girl. Now, I, it's really important to keep your friendship going with your horse. So I'm, I like to sit here and pet him for a minute, especially after taking all that in. Because she did such a good job. She learned that real fast. I like to rub that spot that I tap him too. 
and rub them with the whip. That way they don't get scared of the whip. And when you're, when you're, you're tapping, here, come over here, I'll show them where to tap. So when you're doing this, you're hitting them right about here, just anywhere on that hind, on that, that rump. And you do, what you do, your pattern, you go one, two, three, release. One, two, three, release. One, two, three, release. And then that way that spot doesn't go numb and some blood keeps going through it. Because if you, if you like take a spoon and you tap on your, your arm or something, just keep tapping at a steady pace, that spot's going to kind of go numb after a little bit. So if you go one, two, three, give it like, you know, one break and then one, two, three, that spot won't go numb. I said hit. When I said hit, I, it's not like I'm hitting them hard. It does not hurt them. It's just a very soft tap that's letting them know you're there, kind of. It's just putting a little bit of pressure on them. I, 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 it doesn't, it's just like, just kind of dropping the whip on them. If they're stubborn and they're not moving, you can start tapping a little harder. Oh, see, she knows it just <laughs> off my hand. But, um, but it should never hurt them. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be hitting them so hard where it's hurting them. It just should be light little taps. Okay, so now that she's doing so good away from the fence, I'm gonna bring the block over here. So I'm still gonna line her up with the fence. That way if I need to drive her back over there, I can. So I'm gonna put the block right in front of her and I'm just gonna stand next to the block at first. That way if I have to go drive her back. <laughs> Maggie. So I'm just gonna stand next to the block at first that way, if I need to drive her back over to the, the fence, I have the option without having to jump off the block. So I'm just going to ask her again. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Good. Good. I didn't have to wind up very well that time, but she still did it. where you want them exactly when they step over, you gotta keep asking till they get perfect to, to exactly the point where you want them to be. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. There, see? That last step she didn't want to take, but that stirrup was not where I wanted it, so I made her take that last step. So now that she did this, I'm actually gonna get on Now, just tell her good job and stuff. And you can, I, I make them walk off from it, make them walk a couple of laps. Try to make them forget everything we just did. So you could ride them for like a couple minutes or something, just in a couple circles or something. Whatever you want. to do when you're teaching this horse this, when you're teaching your horse this trick is to make make sure they remember how to get over so so like after learning teaching them to come to you you want to also teach them to go away from you so I, i'll come back here and then get over get over, get over. but she remembers that part too and then i'm just going to do this one more time make sure it's drilled into her mind pretty good and then after that if she does it does it right again then i'll let her be done so another good thing to do is make them stand here 
you don't want to climb up on that on the block and then just fly over to you without you asking them. So you can get up here and just pet them for a second, make them stand there. And then when you're ready, you ask them. Step up, step up. And that's it. So this was the first time I've ever touched on this with Shay. I've never done anything like this with her. She's probably the fastest horse I've ever taught to learn it. Um, she, she's probably one of the most reactive horses I have, I've ever trained to, which has a lot to do with it. Um, it is, your timing is super important with this. As soon as they take that first step and cross that line I was talking about, you, you have to release. If your timing's off, the trick will be a lot harder to teach. So just remember, as soon as they take that step, you release the pressure and you tell them, good job. Okay, this is a different horse, as you can tell. <laughs> this is Cricket. Yeah, she's Lisa's horse, my aunt. And she's a way less sensitive horse than Shay. I'm gonna teach her the trick too, just to show you guys that you don't have to have a young horse or a super sensitive horse to do it. You can do it with a horse that's been broke for years. Doesn't matter their age. How old is Cricket? 12. 12 maybe? 10, 12? So she's been 10 to 12 ridden a old. lot. So she's, she's been through a lot. She's had hundreds of miles ridden on her. And she doesn't know this trick. And she's never been taught this trick either. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up, 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 step up. She's, it doesn't bother her as much and it took her a little longer to get it. So since she kind of settled in with me just tapping real light and just saying step up in a calm voice, that's when I got louder. I started putting more pressure. I tapped a little harder. It still wasn't hard enough to hurt her, but I started talking louder and giving, putting more pressure on her to give, give me that release. There's levels to pressure, basically, that you can put on this horse. When I start at, out, I talk in a nice, soft voice. I'm not putting much pressure on her. I'm just asking her to do it. If she's not doing it, then I get a little louder with my voice and a little more aggressive with my voice. If she still doesn't do it, that's when I bring the whip up and I start to tap. And at first, I go back to my softer voice and tap, which puts more pressure on her. And then if she's still not doing it, then I get louder and I might bring my arm up more and get even more aggressive until she decides to do it. So I'm going to start out again. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. 
Step up. Step up. Step up. Good. to give them just that extra second to think about it and step over so if they if after a minute they still aren't doing it then you go in and start tapping again step up 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 good good Step up, step up, step up, step up, good, good girl. Step up, step up, step up, step up, step up, good, good girl. Step up, step up, step up, step up, good, step up. Step up, 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 good. Right there, good girl. So all horses, animals, anything learns at different paces. So if you have a horse that's taking like Shay, she learned it really fast. I was able to go through all the steps and teach her hit in like 15 minutes. This horse is taking a little bit longer. So I'll probably make her go all the way to where she pushes me up against the fence kind of and gets in that bubble. But after that, I'll probably just quit for today and maybe do it again later because she's learning it a little bit slower. Step up, step up, step up. Good, good girl. Step up, 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 good. Good girl, that's a good job. That was a good job. Step up, step up, good, step up, step up, step up, good. Step up, 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 good, good, good girl, step up, step up, step up. Step up, 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 Well, that's probably enough for this horse for today. Um, she's older and um, she's just 
not learning it quite as fast. I mean, she's obviously learning it a little bit, so, but I'm gonna let that sink in for today. So that's enough for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe uh, to see more content like this. Thank you.